Hi, it's uh, Gary M Zero TIG again for uh, part three of uh, how to actually set the uh, the, the, the Pi three up. Um, okay, and it's very very simple. It's a it's a fairly simple process. What we can do is we're gonna we're gonna take the laptop. We're actually gonna we before earlier in the in the second video we actually looked at how we were gonna um, obtain an IP address. This is actually how we're actually gonna use that IP address and how to go from you know from there. We're gonna use. Um, advanced IP scanner to obtain the IP address. We're going to go straight into um, remote desktop and actually connect to the Pi that we've now set up. So what we do first of all is we just go straight into the, the search box and this is Windows 7, Windows 10, it doesn't matter, Windows 8. Um, just look in, in, in search and all you need to do is just type in there IP scanner um, advanced IP scanner which I, I should add you need to install this if you just do a, a web search you can find advanced uh, IP scanner um, just install that um, and you it will come up in the, in the start menu and, and under under the applications so we'll get that running okay and we'll just do a quick scan for all the IPs and that will run through everything we've got um, and we're going to try and find the Raspberry Pi on our system and I can see it there now and it's actually ending in 539 so that's the important bit you just need that IP address yours will start with something like 192.168.0 maybe and then the last couple of digits will give you what, what you're after in our case it's um, 192.168.539 okay which is an internal um, IP address which is what we need okay so I'm gonna close that now because I've got everything I need to, to get this going. I'm going to go back to the same search box and I'm simply going to put in there remote. Okay, REM is, is enough and it should actually find that quite quickly. And then what we do is we'll just change those last couple of digits to 5.39. Okay, and then you'll get a, a yellow and white box that will flag up. Um, just saying um, about sort of uh, security, it can't be um, uh, verified. Well, it's on your network, it's, it's perfectly okay. Just say yes, and then it will go to a login screen. Now at this stage, you quite simply put in Pi, lowercase, and Raspberry, all lowercase. And then you'll see it will actually start booting up, and then you'll log straight into the, the Raspberry Pi screen. Now we've actually configured our flash drive to actually start with um, DV4MF2 um, and it's saying actually there's a new version available. Um, that will be an update in a moment. Right, okay, so basically we'll be booted straight into DV4MF2 and what we can do from this point on obviously you can put in all your details in the interface setup or, or DV operation um, gateway setup. Okay, in there there's actually my details, just put in your, um, all your details in there and away you go um, and that will actually, that will start running all by itself. Um, and that's pretty much it really, that's, that's how simple that, that is to, to actually do. Um, okay, so, I mean essentially that, that's it, it boots straight into MF2 um, from standard, you don't have to have it doing that, you can actually set it to do whatever you like, you can boot it straight into Helitron, the original software, um, or you can actually move on to other things, um, I mean what else can the, the Raspberry Pi 3 do, I mean the, the, the list is endless, it's really up to you, your, your imagination, um, if, you're, if you get a little bit into programming with uh, Python you can do all sorts of things with that. Um, I'm at the moment, I'm experimenting with um, something called uh, Pi Face and you'll see that there's actually a, a little screen that pops up with a little relay board on and I'm actually controlling this relay board um, from my computer but not only that, I've actually got this box at home so I'm actually working this relay board from here home so I can operate maybe a rotator or I could turn things on and off, um, maybe a repeater that you've got at home or a node that, that you might want to turn on and off. Um, the, the, just the lists are endless. This is such a, a versatile piece of kit. And we're also now um, looking at, um, say, a media player. So if you're in the shack and you want to watch television, you can. You can watch BBC iPlayer, you know, say, just the list goes on. Um, we actually... we. 
we've got that um, image available, just buy the, the SD card, we'll flash it for you, that's not a problem, and I think they're about 19.95, and away you go. The Raspberry Pi 3 is always available as a kit on the website, um, that at the moment I think is 79.95, and if you want to, you can buy it um, along with um, the DV4 um, Mini, um, that's not a problem, they can do that as a, com a combo kit. As I say, the list is endless. It's over to you guys. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm M0TIG. See you next time.